so unfair. It's not fair. How did you get the news? How did you learn of his death? Um, yesterday I was uh, driving to Rome to go to work for Johnny. And um, I was driving to Rome to meet Donatella and Santos and the whole team for rehearsal. And um, I got a phone call 10 minutes before I got to Rome and I didn't believe it. So I got out the car and stopped the car and then I got back in the car and then someone called me and said it wasn't true, it was a mistake. And then when I got there and I saw Donatella, you know, so. You found out it was in fact true. Yeah. You knew Johnny Versace, I know Naomi, for about 11 years. I know this is so hard for you, but what, in your view, made him such a special person? He was a very modest person in terms of he would walk around the street by himself. He would never think that he needed a bodyguard or anything because he's, you know, he, he went everywhere on his own. And he's very generous, he's been very loyal to everybody. His hospitality extends more than anyone I've ever met. And, um, you know, he's just, he always, in terms of his work, had an edge and wanted to do something different, always did what he wanted to do, and always took whatever people said. It's like he always did it first somewhere, and, you know, it always worked. It was always successful for him. And we always enjoyed doing his shows. Um, there was always a feeling of excitement and camaraderie between the girls backstage. And uh, it's always good to feel so nervous before a show because that means you always try your hardest. And we always did try our hardest for Johnny. Seems as if, Naomi, he was just a, a, a lot of fun to be around. Well, you met him also. I remember meeting you with him in October. And, you know, we got up for him and we got there and it was fun to do the show for you guys that morning. Um, he was a very positive person with very positive energy. Clearly, he, he has meant so much to you personally, but I know that he so often featured you in his shows. I mean, I, I, I assume that you were his favorite model. Um, I don't know if I was his favorite, but... One of his favorites, um, right? Yeah, I always, he always, always, without, I never asked, would always come back and take my hand and walk me down the wrong way at the end with him. I just felt like he treated me as a woman with a lot of respect, and that's why... Johnny's, uh, he became such a good friend, and he always said in the papers that uh, I was part of his family. What, what do you think? Been there for me. What do you think, Naomi? Uh, he's meant to you professionally in terms of of your modeling career. I didn't hear you. Kept, I was going to say. What did you say? Well, what do you think he meant to you professionally in terms of your career? I mean, do you believe um, that he you? Helped. He, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be half as known without Johnny Versace, there's no way. I mean, he really, really supported me and helped make me who I am and what I am today. I feel that he's been a major part of my life. Why do you think I've so? I've known him since I was 16. Why do you think so many celebrities just uh, reveled in wearing his designs? I think that his clothes were not just... Um, you know, they were very casual, some of them, and there were some for, like, evening wear and um, classical wear. I mean, he has so many different lines of clothing. There's Versus, there's Versace, there's Estante. There's a, there's a different category that each person can fit in, so that's why the mass is, there's the, the jeans couture. There's, that's, that's why there's so many, there's a lot of people that wore his stuff because there were so many different lines that would suit them. How do you hope, in closing, Naomi, the world will remember him? I don't know. Just that he was a great person. <laughs> and he, you know, he was a true... He really loved what he did. He loved designing. He loved putting on great shows. He loved treating people generously. And he loved being happy and wanting people around him to be happy. Naomi Campbell from Paris. Naomi, thanks so much. I know how difficult this has been. and. Uh, our sympathy to you because I know you feel as if you've lost a member of your family. Thank you. Thanks, Naomi. And we'll be back right after these messages.